The JMSDF, or Japan Maritime Self-Defense Forces, said 1st Soryu class diesel-electric attack submarine SSK, fitted with lithium-ion batteries the JS Oryu, arrived at its new home port in Kure, Hiroshima Prefecture on April 7. As per reports, the JS Oryu will serve with the JMSDF's submarine Flotilla 1. The JS Oryu was commissioned into service at the Mitsubishi Heavy Industries MHI, facility in Kobe in Hyogo Prefecture in west-central Japan on March 5. The boat is the 11th Soryu class SSK commissioned into service and the 6th built by MHI. JS Oryu was launched in October 2018. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why Soryu class submarine powered by lithium ion batteries could sink the Chinese Navy. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder, the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, in which you can go to battle on more than 1200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. The game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience, which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference. It's easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller. Immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world. Download and play War Thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account. Japan has watched as the People's Liberation Army Navy PLAN, has gone from a green water navy capable of operating only in regional seas relatively close to home to a full-fledged blue water fleet operating as far as the Indian Ocean and Baltic Sea. China has maintained very high economic growth over the last 20 years and has become a major economic power. It's spent heavily on military buildup and modernized its military forces. The PLAN is now considerably larger than Japan's Maritime Self-Defense Force in both overall tonnage and in number of vessels. China's rise, as predicted by many experts, is not peaceful. In recent times, China has been very aggressive in its posturing. Its activities are far off from being a sensible nation. China's corrosive behaviors in the South China Sea and neighboring areas have not gone unnoticed. Japan has been increasingly conscious of the fact that its territory, which is surrounded by waters, is vulnerable to naval strikes from Japanese undersea and surface combatants. Keeping this in view, Japan is looking for ways to strengthen its submarine fleet. The Soryu class submarines 16SS are diesel electric attack submarines. The first boat in the class entered service with the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force in 2009. The design is an evolution of the Oyashio class submarine, from which it can most easily be distinguished by its X-shaped stern combination, diving planes and rudders. The Soryus have the largest displacement of any submarine used in post-war Japan. The class displaces 2,947 tons when surfaced and 4,100 tons when submerged. It has a beam of 9.1 meters and a hull draft of 8.4 meters. The boats of this class have a crew consisting of 9 officers and 56 sailors. Soryu class is Japan's first air-independent propulsion submarine. The first 10 submarines of this class are powered with Kakam's Naval Solutions Stirling engines licensed built by Kawasaki Heavy Industries allowing them to stay submerged for longer periods. Soryu class has a maximum surface speed of 13 knots and a subsurface speed of 20 knots. The maximum diving depth of the sub is around 650 meters. The boats have an estimated range of 6,100 nautical miles or around 11,297 kilometers. The Soryus have extensive active defense systems. The ZLR 3-6 electronic countermeasure suite and two 3-inch underwater countermeasure launchers for launching acoustic devices. 
It's to be noted that the entire submarine is covered in acoustic tiling to reduce both the signature of enemy active sonar signals and sounds from inside the vessel. Soryu class is considered to be one of the most silent in the world. Oryu, the eleventh one, is the world's first lithium ion battery submarine. The JM SDF is currently the only naval service in the world to have installed this technology aboard a submarine. Lithium ion batteries have almost double the electric storage capacity of traditional lead acid batteries. Lithium ion batteries will enable the Oryu to shut off its diesel electric propulsion and operate on battery power alone for long periods underwater improving the underwater endurance significantly. Viewers may note that the batteries are way less noisy than diesel electric engines and reduce the sub's acoustic signature, making detection harder. JMSDF believes that lithium ion is the way forward and intends to trial this new system and compare it to the previous AIP system for operational effectiveness. In November last year, Kawasaki Heavy Industries KHI, launched the 12th and final Soryu class SSK, the future JS Toryu, like the JS Oryu, the Toryu slated to be commissioned in March 2021 will also be fitted with lithium ion batteries. Each submarine has an optronic mast and ZPS 6F surface low-level air search radar for the detection of enemy anti-submarine warfare and maritime patrol craft. To detect enemy warships and submarines, Oryu has bow and flank mounted Hughes OKI ZQQ-7 sonar arrays. It is also equipped with a towed array sonar capable of detecting ships over 70 kilometers or 37 nautical miles away. The Soryu class is fitted with six HU-606 533mm torpedo tubes that can accommodate Type 89 heavyweight torpedoes for anti-submarine operations and UGM-84 harpoon for anti-ship roll. The Type 89 torpedo is a submarine-launched homing torpedo produced by Japan's Mitsubishi Heavy Industries. It replaced the unguided Type 72 torpedo. Development was done by the Technical Research and Development Institute, a department of the Ministry of Defense, and began in 1970 with the design completed in 1984. Developed from the Type 80 torpedo, it's similar in its capabilities to the United States Mark 48 ADCAP torpedo. After being formally approved in 1989 and named Type 89, it entered service. It's a wire-guided torpedo that features both active and passive homing modes. Compared to Mark 48 torpedo, it's slightly longer and heavier, but has a marginally smaller warhead, 267 kilograms or 588 pounds, compared to 295 kilograms or 650 pounds. However, it can be used at a greater depth, 900 meter versus 800 meter, for the Mark 48. The Harpoon is an all-weather, over-the-horizon, anti-ship missile developed and manufactured by McConnell Douglas, now Boeing Defense, Space and Security. The submarine-launched variant is fitted with a solid-fuel rocket booster and encapsulated in a container to enable submerged launch through a torpedo tube. The missile has subsonic speed and is capable of hitting targets more than 70 miles or 112 kilometers away. It must be noted here that China is already witnessing an economic slowdown and the recent events will surely see a pushback by many countries. In this situation, China's aggressive military posturing may come back to haunt it if Japan starts its militarization. It must be noted that Japan already has a strong military, though it's not gone all out in its pursuit. If Japan decisively takes that path, it could rise in a very short time. Another important aspect is the U.S. is Japan's ally and is bound by the Treaty of Mutual Cooperation and Security to come to Japan's aid in case Japan faces aggression from an external party. So if a conflict breaks out, 
Japan will need to hold off China for some time till full-fledged American support is received. Keeping this scenario in mind, we can easily see that the fleet of Soryu-class subs will play a major role. Soryu-class is already considered to be one of the best and with the addition of lithium-ion battery tech, it will become even more deadly. The submarine sensors and weapons will enable them to track and hunt Chinese subs and warships. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.